This is the story of a makeup artist's vision. Three models, one photographer, a stylist, and 500 spoons. Jonas Oliver, my friend and long-term collaborator, is working on his first makeup book. And he asked me to help him create a shoot inspired by a Lady of Shalott style character, who had gone mad trapped in an ivory tower, and her only escape was to become somebody else. In one look, she was to dress in 500 spoons, and in another, she surrounds herself with butterflies, and in yet another, she became a flower. As a photographer, more frequently than not, your challenge is to realize somebody else's vision. In this video, I get to talk a little bit about how the team came together to bring Jonas's 500 spoon fantasy to life. And it all comes together on the first look. But the first look is always the hardest. Expectations are high and everybody else's work is done and it's up to you and the model to glue it all together. And it almost never comes together right away. You might even feel a tinge of panic as everybody looks to you to instantly produce the image that's been burnt into everybody's imagination. But you can't let it show. Chances are your model is feeling the same way and will be especially sensitive to the photographer's every reaction and especially how quickly you're shooting and they will assume that it's got something to do with them, which can make them lose confidence very quickly. So you have to communicate with your model and relax into it. It's a photo shoot, not a mass problem. You can't solve it with logic, but if you know that, you can let go. And if it's a collaboration, the result isn't yours to control anyway. Here Jonas as art director makes a few tweaks and the shots start to flow. Up, we just finished it off. So we've got the backlight over there, which gives us this mottled blue, and then we've got the um, the key light, key light, beauty light. Um, beauty dish would have been great. We don't have one, so we're just trying to flag off the softbox from the background, which is a little bit difficult. It's kind of small in here, and then we have this wonderful silver Price is Right um, reflector, just to give a little bit of bounce back. For Our Lady and Spoons, Jonas had jewelry designer Nadia Menkov create a body piece from spoons, while stylist Francesca Marotta added 500 spoons to her giant cape, which she styled as a skirt. This shot was easier for me because I was able to motivate my lighting from the wall-mounted chandeliers. I used a flash gun on the left of frame and cut the beam down with two flags. Hard light is easier to control, but less flattering. Soft light is nicer on the face, but spills everywhere. So controlling a softer light with flags is a good trade-off. Jonas then had me add a lamp and a reflector on the right of frame to give more fill to the makeup. For the next setup, stylist Francesca is adding paper butterflies to one of her dresses. To light it, I just started off by tweaking the curtains and letting some daylight in. But the daylight was inconsistent, so I settled on mixing the blue daylight with the flash gun just in modelling mode to give a warm glow on her, but a cold blue light in the background. I also got Dante Rossetti's painting of Persephone in my head, and I just ran with it. For the last shot, the room was white. I pushed the bed to one side, where it promptly collapsed, and just hung a softbox on a C-stand overhead of the model. I love the simplicity of this lighting setup. A soft overhead light just feels very natural. So that was a brief introduction to how a photo shoot works when you've got a full team. If you'd like to see more, just let me know in the comments below. Until then, make sure you check out the gang on Instagram. I'll leave their handles in the description below. And to find out more about Jonas's book, drop him a follow. And I will see you in the next video.